Okay, hey guys. So, my camera cut off on the end of row four. I guess it decided that I had been on camera too long. So, here we are on our last two stitches of row four. And I've done the first heart rows. And now I'm on the last. So, I'm going to finish that. And I am going to chain one. And if you remember, I turned it toward me last time, so now I'm going to turn it away from me. And hopefully, we won't be tangled up. We're kind of tangled up. Maybe I turned it the wrong way. We'll figure it out later. Supposedly, if you turn it one way, one time, and one way, the next time, you don't get tangled, but you know. Who knows? Anyway, I wanted to show you our row four. We had all these color changes. We had the two hot rows and then two soft pink. And then we had the 15 gray beard and then one hot rose. And then the 32 soft pink, the one gray beard, and the two hot rows, and the one chain. Okay? So, looks pretty good. This is the front of our work now that we are at. And I think it's looking pretty nice. So, we are starting on row five. And this right here, I want to show you. Is where I was supposed to not need that bobbin. And I went and got another bobbin. So there's my boo boo. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to cut it to where I have a tail. I have no idea what happened. The only thing I can think of is that it's 2.30 in the morning and I'm delirious. So I'm going to cut that and I am going to save that bobbin for later use. And I will weave that tail through later so that it will be on the back of my project because right now it's in the front and I will show you how to do that so that you won't have to weave it in the front and make your project ugly. I will show you how to get it through the back and this will actually be a good learning experience for everyone. So let's move on. Okay, row five. We need two hot rows. So Going in that first stitch, we have one, and then we have two, and we're going to hold it right there and pull our yarn to the front and hold it with our thumb. And then we need two gray beard this time. So we're going to find our gray beard, and we're going to finish that stitch off. And go into the gray beard. Now, we only had one gray beard. And do you see how it got a little loose and it has that big hole? So all I'm going to do is take my tail back here and I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit. Okay. Now, because we have pink here, I'm just going to work over that like I told you before. I'm going to pretend that it's a tail and I'm just going to work over it since it's only one stitch because I'm going to need that yarn for my next one. So I'm just going to work over the top and no one will ever know. So there we go. Okay, so we've got our two gray beard. Now we need 30 soft pink. So we're going to finish our gray beard off with that. And now we need the 30 soft pink. Let me 
Whoops. This camera is not stable. Okay, how many did I say? 30 soft pink. So we have one. And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. And thirty. Now, we are going to hold that in the front. And now we need two of the hot rows. So, let me find that. Now, this is a different um, situation. We haven't gotten to the hot rows yet. But you know what? That doesn't matter. We will just pull it over. And what you do, see how there's a little bit of a an extra piece there. Just make sure that you go under that when you crochet. So you go in your um, soft pink and just make sure that you go under that. So there's one and then two. And you don't finish that off. You pull it to the front and then it says 14 gray beard. So we need 14 gray beard. Let me pull some out. My basket's not very heavy and it's not wanting to stay still when I pull on it. I should put a rock or something in the bottom. Okay, how many did I say? 14 gray beard. So we finish that off. And we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay, pull it to the front, and you don't finish it off. And then we have three soft pink. Now, again, we haven't gotten to the soft pink yet, but that doesn't matter. You just finish that off, and when you go through that gray beard right there, you just make sure that you go under that little piece of soft pink right there. So just go under it, and then that'll hide it. So there's one two and three and you don't finish it off you pull it to the front and then you need two of your heart rows so you're gonna finish that off you're gonna go one and two and then you're gonna chain one and you're gonna turn the opposite way and now we are on the back of our work, the back side. So, this is what we just did. We had our two hot rows in our chain, our three, let me find out where I'm at. Here, I'm going backwards. We had our two hot rows over here, our two gray beard, 
And then we had the 30 soft pink. And then we had the two hot rose, 14 gray beard, the three soft pink, and then two hot rose in our chain. And this is the back side, which you're going to be working on next. What it looks like. And I'll show you the front side, what we just got finished with. We've got all of our tails coming off of it, so it looks kind of messy because I just turned it around. Okay, well, I am going to stop there for today. And tomorrow I will pick up on row six and I hope that you're not having too much of a problem and that I have explained it okay. And if you do have questions, just go ahead and post those in the event and I will try to answer those for you. And just let me know if I've done anything that's confused you or anything that I can help you with better. And have a great day. Thank you. Bye.